Hey guys, what's going on? It is LKG here, and today I'm bringing you guys another GTA 5 online video. Today's video is how to go from zero to millions of dollars from broke to rich. There's gonna be a new casino DLC coming out soon. I want everybody to be as rich as possible in the game, so might as well drop a how to get rich video. Now, before we get into the video, quick disclaimer, this is not a glitch. These are not any cheats or shortcuts. These are complete legit ways. It is more rewarding that way, but it will take some time, just a heads up. Before we get into the video as well, if you are new, please subscribe. And uh, if you did enjoy the video, please drop a like. It'd be very much appreciated. If you have any questions or wanna see any kind of videos, any video suggestions, drop it in the comment section down below. It'd be very, very much appreciated. And with that being said, let's get into this video. Now the first step of this video is to go from zero to 50K. The reason why we wanna to get to 50K is so that we can become a VIP. Easiest way to do that is to do some contact missions, play some races, just play the game, get 50K easily. The best contact missions I find are Blow Up 2, Richmond of Richmond, Cleaning Up the Cat House, whatever is available for your level, do some contact missions, get the money, get your goo up. 50K is all we need to become a VIP. So now once you have 50k and you can register as a VIP, what we're going to work towards is 1.3 million. So it's going to be a little bit of a grind. The best way to get to that 1.3 million is to do contact missions and VIP missions every hour. So we're going to do three VIP missions every hour because there's a 20 minute cooldown in total. Three VIP missions which will get you anywhere from 20 to 25 thousand dollars each time. And then three contact missions during the VIP mission cooldown which will get you around 10k each time. So let's say we get the bare bones 20k for VIP and 10k for contact. That is 30k every 20 minutes. Multiply that by three because it's an hour. We got 90k an hour. And then the last thing you're gonna do every hour is sell a car for around 10k. So you're making 100 grand an hour. We are still working towards 1.3 million though. So 100k an hour working towards 1.3 million. When we go into the VIP missions, the ones I suggest are Headhunter and Sightseer. Headhunter is where you go, you find four targets across the map, you kill them, and it's done. Sightseer, you play games on your phone to unlock locations of certain packages. You pick up the three packages, boom, you get your 20 to 25k right there. Contact missions, Sightseer, three each an hour, get 100k, we're working towards our 1.3 million. Once we got our 1.3 million, we're then going to go buy the cheapest CEO office, the Maze Bank West, and we're also going to buy the cheapest cargo crate warehouse for 250k once we got both of those set up we're going to start ripping the cargo crate missions or the cargo crate business now the way this business works is you source some crates you go out you steal some of these supplies you bring them back to your warehouse and then you're then able to sell it for a profit now once you get the 1.5 million you're going to buy a vehicle cargo warehouse the la mesa vehicle cargo warehouse you got that 1.5 million, boom, buy that warehouse. We're now doing the vehicle cargo missions or business. It's the exact same thing as crates. All you have to do is you source a vehicle, you go find a vehicle, steal it, bring it back to the warehouse, and you sell it for a profit or you sell it to a buyer. Now, there's three kinds of vehicles. There's standard, mid-range, and top range. Standard range will at the most get you 30K, mid-range 50K, top range 80K. So, of course, we're going to focus on the top range vehicles. That's where we want to make all of our money. To ensure that you get a top range vehicle every time you source a car or every time you go to steal a car, just keep on filling up your warehouse and never selling your mid-range and standard range. Once you get to a certain point, it's roughly 10 cars of each, 10 standard, 10 mid-range, you're going to guarantee get a top range vehicle. So every single time, you're going to get a top range vehicle, you're going to source it, modify it, sell it for 80K. You sell it to the buyer for 100K, cost $20,000 to do modifications so you can buy it to the specialist dealer, meaning you're netting 80K. One quick side note, make sure you don't bang around the car too much because any damage that car takes, it's gonna come out of your $80,000 that you earn at the very end. Now with this method, like the other ones, there's gonna be a cooldown. So it's, you could roughly source a vehicle and sell a vehicle every 20 minutes. But during or in that 20 minutes, you have about five to 10 minutes of time that you can go and do something else. So what I highly suggest is you go, you source a vehicle, you sell the vehicle, you get 80K right there, in the five minutes you have less, you do a, sight, a sightseer mission. Bang out a sightseer mission, that's another 20K. So you're now making 100K every 20 minutes. Multiply that by three, because we're going by hours here. That is 300K an hour. So we started off as some broke boys or broke girls. We started off with $0 an hour. Then we went to 100K an hour, 
150K an hour, 300K an hour. We're working our way up. We're going to CEO status. We're getting some big money now. So now the rest of this guide is all up to you. I'm not going to put any monetary values on anything, but I'm just going to show you the way that I would finish off this guide. There are three businesses left that I think you should all buy to earn the max amount of money possible. There's more businesses in this game, but these next three are going to be the most profitable and the most worth your time and money. So the first one is you're going to go for a biker clubhouse. The cheapest biker clubhouse is a great Chaparro or great Chaparro clubhouse all the way out in the desert. It's worth 200k, but this clubhouse is just the beginning. There's going to be three businesses businesses then that I would like you all to invest in. You don't have to, you could buy any of the biker businesses, but these top three are going to be my favorite and the most profitable in my opinion. So the three businesses that I highly suggest for you to buy is the cash or the counterfeit, counterfeit cash factory in the Grand Sonora Desert, the methamphetamine lab in the Grand Sonora Desert, and the cocaine lockup in Alamo C. These three are the cheapest of each one and they're all located near the clubhouse that you previously bought. That's why I like it the best. And these are also the three businesses that, in my opinion, are more worth your time, more worth, or the most worth your money. And for all three of them, in case you don't understand what, how the biker businesses work, all you do is just like the cargo crates, you go out, you steal supplies, bring it back, and these businesses accrue product for you that you could sell later on for a profit. You also have the option of buying products which is like the other, which is going to be like the bunker. You could buy the supplies, but it, if you want to save the most amount of money possible, go for uh, stealing the product. So what you're going to do from now is you're going to now move on to the bunker. Now, I should have said this before, but I think that you should get all these businesses in sequential order. So you get the biker businesses, then the bunker, then the nightclub. Anyways, onto the bunker. The cheapest bunker is going to be the Polito Forest Bunker. It is 1.1, almost $1.2 million. So you still got to grind some more for that. It's going to be a few hours more of grinding for that. What the bunker does is that it is just like almost like the cargo crate warehouses, almost like the biker businesses as well. So all you have to do is you go out, steal some supplies, their guns, ammunition, whatever it is, bring it back to the bunker. It accrues and it makes some product for you and then you sell it for a profit later on. Once again, you could also buy the supplies, but if you want to save money, if you count your pennies and everything, if you're one of those kind of people, nothing, nothing against people like that, but if you're something like that, then you, all you have to do is you steal supplies instead of buy them. But be warned, when you steal supplies, it doesn't guarantee that you get the full supply bar. When you buy supplies, it guarantees you get the full supply bar. All up to you, depending on how much time you have, depending on how much money you want to spend or save, it's all up to you. Now, before we get into the very last business, I'm quickly going to say for all three of these businesses, Biker, Bunker, and the Nightclub, there are upgrades. There's equipment upgrade, staff upgrade, and, um, and production upgrade, whatever it is. These actually do help your business. It allows you to crew product faster and the product to be worth more. That is up to you, though. They're very expensive upgrades for all of them, but it is completely up to you. If you have the extra money to spend, go for it because it really does make a difference. Just remember, this is going to add on to the cost of the initial business. Now going into our final one, it is going to be the nightclub. Now the cheapest nightclub is the Ellis Island nightclub. It's way down at the bottom of the map, way down south. It is around a million dollars. So the cheapest nightclub is going to be around a million dollars and it's probably going to be the best investment you've ever made on this game. But it is only going to be the best investment you've ever made if you buy it after purchasing all of these businesses. The reason why is the nightclub is a way to make passive income through all of your previous businesses. So with the nightclub comes technicians, comes a warehouse, all this stuff. The nightclub has technicians or what you could say workers or employees for you that go to your other businesses that you already have owned or you already own and they take or they make product from those businesses to add on and to keep in the nightclub. So let's say you have a biker business, that biker business, you're running on your own, you're stealing supplies, making money with it, but now you have a technician that's assigned to that biker business, you are now also making an additional income or additional money within the nightclub for that business. So when you go into the nightclub, you'll see there's all, all the businesses are laid out. There is eight of them total, five, seven of them total, my bad, seven total, and they're going to correspond with the bunker, they're going to correspond with the biker, the, the methamphetamine lab, the cocaine lockup. They're going to correspond with your CEO crates, with the cash factory, with the weed farm. They're going to correspond. You buy or you hire 
technicians, they go to those businesses and now they're making supplementary income for you. So this can get you anywhere from like 50 to 100K an hour completely passive because you don't have to do anything. The technicians are doing the work for you, which is why this is gonna be the best investment you've ever made on this game because you have to do zero work. You could go AFK on security cameras. You don't have to do anything and you're making a ton of money. But like I said, you're gonna to have to make sure you do this after finishing or buying all the other businesses because then and only then can you max out your money, all right? So now we've reached the end of this whole process, this whole guide. You started off with 50K, you grinded to 1.3 million, you now own a CEO office, you own cargo crate, a cargo crate warehouse. You also own now a vehicle uh, cargo warehouse. Then you go, you get a biker clubhouse. You hopefully bought the cocaine lockup, the methamphetamine lab, and the cash creation factory. You then went on to buy the bunker business, and you now are gun running. And finally, you go on to the nightclub, and you hire five technicians to run all five of those businesses. You want to run the sporting goods, the, the pharmaceutical, you want to run the South American imports, the cash creation, and finally, the CEO or the cargo crates, the special crates. You were running all those in your nightclub. So we went from making $0 an hour to 100K an hour to 150K an hour, 300K, 4 to 450K with the biker businesses, 5 to 600K with all the businesses combined. This is easy, easy money. And I really hope you enjoyed this guide. If you did, drop a like on the video. If you are new, subscribe. It would be very much appreciated. Drop a comment in the comment section down below on any videos you want to see. Any questions about this video, um, feel free. Uh, I'll answer any of them. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.